Are you looking for crystal healing ways to relieve your headache? My name is Sheila from Satin Crystals, and today we are going to discuss the top crystals to use for headache relief and how to use them. So besides your traditional ways to cure your headaches, like medicine or caffeine or a little nap or some water, you can use crystals to complement these and have a natural way to relieve the tension in your head. Now, we have been in the crystal business for over 20 years now. We always hear back from our clients and customers and they tell us what is working and what is not for them. So here are the seven most popular, powerful crystals for headaches that uh, people have used. And at the end, I'll also let you know what my favorite one is. It's not one of the top ones, but you might like to try it out. So let's begin in no particular order with the top seven most powerful crystals for headaches and migraines. Clear quartz is a wonderful crystal to use when you have a headache due to indecision. So it's a clarity stone. You can use clear quartz to clear out that confused energy and find the solution and relieve headaches that way. Rose quartz, as you may know, is the loving crystal. So it'll take that anxious, fearful, worrisome energy and help relieve and calm and bring peace to your head again. Sodalite is an excellent stone for mental balance and energy flow within your head. So there's, if there's any obstacles that are creating any kind of barrier for your thoughts and your ideas to flow freely, you can use Sodalite to unblock those energies in your third eye. Blue Lace Agate has that energy of the calm seas. So it has a very um, soothing wave-like energy to help relieve any pressure in your head and just to go with the flow. Amethyst is a popular crystal for anything having to do with the energy surrounding your head. So anybody who has insomnia or nightmares or headaches and migraines, use amethyst to relieve this pressure. It helps to raise their vibrations. It's a spiritual stone, so it helps to connect with your higher self. You can see the bigger picture. You don't get bogged down with the little details and the mundane drama of life. It is raising vibrations so you're out of that low energy and your head can feel free and clear. White selenite is excellent for sealing the energy leaks. So it's also great for your crown chakra and just the general light body around your aura. It helps to seal out any unwanted bothersome energies and seal in your own energy so that you're not leaking out energy or feeling lethargic. So white selenite. Now carnelian is not one that you would first think of for headaches because of its bright active energy, but a lot of people like to use this if their headache is making them feel down and lethargic and full of fatigue. Uh, carnelian activates the passion in your head and kind of pushes out the energies that are causing that tense feelings. And my favorite crystal to use during headaches, luckily I don't get headaches very regularly, but I do get them when I am dehydrated. And so then I know that I need to reluctantly drink some water and pick up my angelite stones. I actually have three angelite wands that I use. I have one in the bedroom, one in the bathroom, and one by my office desks. So that whenever I do have headaches, I can use angelite. It is a very soothing, just by looking at it, it is a very soothing energy to me. You might like to use angelite as well. And I'm going to show you exactly the ways that you can use all of these crystals coming up. Now here are some ways that you can use your headache crystals in your healing practice. So first of all, you can use them in wand form. So as I said, my favorite one is the angelite wand and just uh, press it into your temples, your third eye, your scalp, maybe even your neck, wherever you're feeling tension, you just have to rub it into there. It's nice and smooth and it is gentle on the skin as well and it's easy to hold. My sister Lisa unfortunately has a lot of migraines so besides her uh, caffeine intake she also 
uh, has started to use the rose quartz roller wand and this is very smooth just rolling it across your forehead your temple or what have you you don't have to put pressure like you do with the massage wand so it just depends on how much pressure you prefer and uh, you can read about both of our experiences on the Headache Crystals article. I'm gonna show you a few more methods and then on the article we have even more ways that you can use your Headache Crystals. You can use your polished stones or your tumbled stones and relieve the pressure in your head that way. If you don't have it in massage wand form, you can uh, rub these into your temple, your third eye. You can even place them into the freezer Natural stones are pretty cold already on their own, but if you want an additional cooling energy, place them in the fridge or freezer for a while and then place them on their head and it'll feel nice and refreshing and cold. You can meditate with your crystal balls that you have in your headache crystal stone. So this one here is the clear quartz, which I said is great for clarity. We do have a clarity clear quartz guided meditation if you wanna try that, if you are having some kind of indecision and it is giving you a headache. Use headache crystal chakra plates. So if you have some crystal slabs, preferably in your favorite headache crystal form, then you can um, adhere some headache crystal small ones on top of it, and then you just place them on your head, on your chakras. You can even additionally add in a tuning fork for the vibration to vibrate the energy in. And we do have information on crystals and tuning forks, so that's a great way to heal and relieve the pressure in your head as well. Lie in a crystal layout with your favorite headache relieving crystals. So this you would surround your body with your favorite headache crystals and you can even place them on your chakras. I would recommend at least one on your third eye and your crown chakra. And then you kind of create a web of headache relieving soothing energy and you can lie there for 15, 20 minutes, whatever you like. An additional thing to do would be to add in crystal points to help you direct the energy of where you want it to be. So for example, if I had two crystal points here, I would have the, um, in my right hand, my dominant hand is my giving hand. So I would have the point facing outwards to have the energy, the tension, tense energy flow out. And in my non-dominant hand, my left hand here, I would have the point flowing inwards to gather any of the positive energy from the universe. That is just one example. There is a lot more ways that you can do crystal layouts with crystals. Program your jewelry or your portable stones for headache relief and you can have them with you throughout the day. So you can wear the jewelry that you have programmed. You can have little stones in your uh, pouch or your purse or your pocket or just have them nearby. This is if you don't really have time for a ritual or if you have done a ritual and you just want to carry those stones, wear those stones as a reminder of um, letting go of the tension in your head. Use your headache relieving crystals as worry stones. So instead of uh, the stress balls that they have, metal stress balls or little fidget spinners, you can use your crystals to relieve your stress physically. So you just rub your fingers across the stone whenever you're feeling a little anxious, whenever the tension is getting too much for you, you can use your uh, crystals in that way. So make sure they're nice and smooth and you can hold them easily. You can place them in your pocket, just have them with you. The worry stone version of your headache relieving crystal. A lot of the times when you do have a headache or a migraine, all you wanna do is lie down. So make sure that you have your headache crystals near your bedside, ready to go. You're not going to be scrambling around because you probably won't want to at that point. So you'll have them ready. You can just lie down, place them on your third eye, relax, have them at your bedside. Um, you can use, if they are, tumbled and durable. You can even place them under your pillow. Just have them surrounding you so you have a nice, comfortable little headache relieving cave whenever you need to lie down. Create a crystal mandala or a crystal grid with your favorite headache relieving crystals. This in itself is a very meditative process and you can see all kinds of instructions on how to create your own crystal mandalas at Satin Crystals.
So those are some ideas that you can use your headache relieving crystals for. Let us know if you have a favorite method, if you have a favorite headache relieving crystal. We do have a whole collection of headache crystals that you can find at Satin Crystals along with more ideas as well. While you're there, make sure to join the Satin Crystals VIP Club as we do send out crystal healing information every single week. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all the upcoming crystal videos. As always, thank you for your positive energy as Satin Crystals, and thank you for spreading your light into our universe.